Let's imagine that we have 10 balls in the urn. Among them, 3 are white and 7 are black. Suppose we take two balls out of the urn simultaneously. What is the probability that they are both white? The event of interest here, A, is getting two white balls out of the urn. The probability of this event can be calculated due to classical definition of probability. The formula is following. The probability of event A equals small n over capital N. The small n stands for the amount of outcomes when event A occurs. And the capital N is the amount of all possible outcomes. We will use this formula to calculate the probability of event A, but first we need to define small and capital N for our example. The capital N, as we said, is the amount of all possible outcomes. In our case, this is the number of ways in which we can pick two balls out of the total of 10. And this is equal to binomial coefficient. So the capital N equals 10 choose 2. Using the factorials, we get 10 factorial over 2 factorial times 10 minus 2 factorial. This gives us 10 factorial over 2 times 8 factorial. And reducing the factorials, we get 9 times 10 over 2, which is equal to 45. Now the small n. The small n is the amount of outcomes when event A occurs, when we get two white balls out of the urn, in our case. This is the number of ways in which we can pick two balls out of three white balls in the urn. And using binomial coefficient, this is equal to 3 choose 2, which gives us 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 minus 2 factorial. This is equal to 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 1 factorial, and gives us just 3. Now, as we know small n and capital N, we can insert them into the probability formula and calculate the probability of event A. The probability of event A equals 3 over 45, which gives us 1 15th. So the answer is following. The probability of getting two white balls out of three white and seven black balls in the urn is 1 15th.